everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac. We are doing challenge runs here, you can probably guess what this one is. Uh, it's actually... People have been clamoring, use every familiar in the game, use every familiar in the game. Well, I've been playing around with Cheat Engine. Apparently I max out at like... Five familiars following me. So I got Ghost Baby, Sister Maggie, Little Chubby, Little Gish, and Little Chad with me. That's the best we can do for now. Uh, we're also gonna apparently get a zero every time we enter a room. I have no idea what is going on with that. Let me just check out Cheat Engine here for a second. Cheat Engine, what are you doing? Do I have you set to- yes I do. I have you set to always giving me an item whenever I enter a room. But there's no item to give. Okay. So we need to set some rules here. To be honest with you, I think I should be able to go to item rooms as well. But maybe we'll restrict the items that I can pick up a little bit. Because I really expected to have like 10 familiars. We're missing so many. Harlequin Baby, Robo Baby, Ghost Baby, the way we, uh, we have Robo Baby, um, Rainbow Baby was what I meant there, um, so I think it's gonna be okay to go to item rooms, but we'll maybe restrict it, oh, I just, I wanna pick up familiars more than anything else, 10 extra bombs doesn't hurt anyway, uh, but yeah, we'll just have like a nice little casual Binding of Isaac run here with as many familiars as possible, certainly boss items I think should be allowed, 5 familiars is a, a very good head start, but it's certainly not uh, the kind of head start where you can just like not get items for the rest of the game. Uh, especially when I'm actually missing some of the better ones. In fact, one of my five... Uh, maybe I should go without items because this is going really fast. Uh, but one of my five familiars is Little Chub, or sorry, Little Chad, who is like garbage in my eyes. Uh, we do get an eight ball here so for some tiers upgrades. So I have no idea really what's going to happen. We're going to give this our old college try anyway. Again, I originally set this up with every single familiar in the game. I actually have a list next to me. That had every familiar in the game. Every shooter, because there's various kinds of familiars. What I didn't realize or think about really was that when you think about familiars, you usually think about, you know, Sister Maggie, Brother Bobby, etc., etc. You also gotta think Sack of Pennies, Bomb Bag, Relic, and I was like, if we get all those, especially the Relic, it'll just make things too easy. Uh, so instead, I decided to just go with shooters, but apparently still you can only have five of them following you at once, which is kind of shitty, but let's take a look at uh, all the ones that I had here. Brother Bobby, Demon Baby, Little Chubby, Little Gish, Little Steve, Robo Baby, Two Cubes of Meat, Sister Maggie, Abel, Ghost Baby, Harlequin Baby, Rainbow Baby. So in case you're doing your own All Familiars run, uh, that is how you would set it up, I guess. I'm not sure if it's a cheat engine thing or maybe it's an Isaac thing where the game just refuses to allow you to have more than five familiars because that would be fucking insane. So for now, I'm just going to give the game or the cheat engine the benefit of the doubt and assume that this is something that is actually, you know, built into the game to kind of protect it. Or like maybe Ed was like, there's no way anyone's ever going to get six familiars. We, that was terrible bombing uh, by way of the tower there. Got a little bit of slowdown, as you might expect considering all the shit that we're modeling here. This has got to use at least, oh, I don't have any keys, at least one kilobyte of RAM. I did not misspeak there. Um... We are going to look for the secret room, I suppose. Not having any keys is a problem because I can't go to the item room. But hey, maybe that balances things out a little bit. We'll see what we got in here. Uh, we have money, again, which would be awesome to use to go to the shop. If we could go to the shop, which we can't. Now, if I could do this all over again, I never would have uh, ticked the little Chad box in the cheat engine. That's for damn sure. Would have gone... If we were going, like, five most powerful familiars... Probably would have gone sister, well, two cubes of meat you, you are allowed to take because it doesn't technically follow you around, I guess. It's, it's exempt. Um, oh man, get the mouse off the screen. How long has that been there? Um, there we go, he's dead. What would I have gone with? Let me think about this for a second. Little Gish for sure. Probably Demon Baby. Sister Maggie. Harlequin Baby and Little Steve would probably be my guess. But anyway, let's get our third cube. Oh, now we got a Meat Boy. That was. Pretty dumb of me, actually. Uh, let's re-roll the devil rooms. You never know what you're gonna get here. And we'll go with Mom's Knife as well. Wouldn't be a botch challenge run without me taking one of the best items in the game. What can I say? I love Mom's Knife. And this is gonna make things maybe less interesting, but certainly more quick. That is for damn sure. One thing people have been suggesting, and this is an interesting idea for a challenge run, is uh, take Mom's Knife but literally drop your range down to zero. I'm not sure if that's actually possible in um, in Cheat Engine to drop your range literally down to zero, but the way that would work, the reasoning behind that obviously is uh, we would have Mom's Knife, but in addition to that, let's let the familiars finish him off here. In addition to having Mom's Knife, uh, we would not be able to shoot it. We'd just be able to run into people. Uh, so I think it was like max speed, 
Zero range. Mom's knife. It would be interesting to say the least. I think I've accidentally ended up creating like the easiest run of all time here. I'm starting off with five familiars. Not to mention now I also have, in addition to those five familiars, Mom's knife and a third level meat boy. Hey, let's continue messing around with it. Who knows what's gonna happen. And another very common suggestion is just get like two level four meat boys and then put yourself at minimum damage for the rest of the game. I don't know, maybe we'll see that one in the future. I've already been down here, is this, yeah, this is where I fought Lust. So I'm predicting that this is gonna be a pretty goddamn quick run, especially if I continue going to item rooms, but hey, it's nice to have an overpowered run, I would say. Uh, to compensate for that awful run I had last time, where I died three times in 18 minutes. Keep in mind, it was never my intention to just, like, make my way uh, through the game easier by using Cheat Engine. It was always to make it more interesting. I don't know if this is more interesting. Certainly, uh, we're gonna have a lot more firepower than normal. But we can still lose this, because I am fairly low on health, and it's not like we're getting a ton of spirit hearts at all times or anything. So let's kill all of this. Like so. And with this guy dead. With this, with this guy dead, there we go. Uh, we are going to pick up whatever's in this chest and then go fight the boss, which I assume, Caves Part 1, I'm thinking we're gonna get Chubb here. Like I said, we're gonna fight Chad. I just misspoke. No, of course. I did think that we were gonna be fighting Mr. Yellow. It was actually more fun to fight because Chad is a pain in the ass and he's gonna drop the crate for us, which is super weird. Let's re-roll that. Range upgrade. Wish I hadn't re-rolled it. I was hoping that he would drop like another little Chad and maybe I could have like double the heart generation, but I guess can't always get what you want. Oh, come on, that still hit me? I moved ever so slightly the other direction. Okay, okay. It's not cute anymore to get hurt on these guys. Come on, Meat Boy. If we just let this happen and played like Yakety Sacks over top, how long do you think it would take until Meat Boy actually caught him? Uh, I'll spoil that answer for you. Never! So hopefully we actually end up fighting like, uh, we're in Catacombs? Hopefully we fight Pestilence here. And then we could get 4th level Cuba Meat. And then hopefully we fight War and Death after that and we can get like 4th level Cuba Meat as well as a 2nd Cuba Meat, or a 2nd uh, Meat Boy who would just be level 2. So we could actually have our familiar back. It's unlikely, but it could potentially happen. Especially if we were to pick up Book of Revelations at some point. Which is also pretty unlikely. But hey, you never know. So we're just gonna stand here. Living at the corner of Dude and Catastrophe. We should be pretty much impossible to hit. We don't want that. We do want this. I was actually, you're not gonna believe this. But I was about to say before we went into the room, Lard would be awesome here. And there it was. It slowed us down a little bit, but our speed is pretty good. It's thanks to that uh, mini mush we got. But beyond that, that extra HP is very valuable. Maybe if we get a deal with the Devil Room here, I will uh, take the opportunity to go in there and see if we can get a flying item or something. Almost got hit there. Just keep it up. Man, oh man, how did I take so much damage so quickly? Me boy! Um... You ever, yeah, like, I'm using headphones right now. I think I've mentioned this before. But I'm using headphones right now, and I got the keyboard on my lap to avoid that, like, obtrusive keyboard noise that shows up when I hit the space bar on this, uh, in this setup. Like, dunk, dunk, dunk. Uh, but I got the headphone cord dangling on my hand, and it's proving to be very distracting. There we go. I just threw it over. Oh, nope, that's not right. Wrap it around my head, maybe? Better. Okay, we're good. Now, don't get hit. Or you are going to die. You could actually die on this room. That is a sobering thought. I'm happy to use a bomb here to kill this guy if Meat Boy doesn't want to finish the job for me. Because we desperately need to get this health right here. Meat Boy! Meat Boy! That's a bad Meat Boy. Don't do that. You almost killed Daddy. So we do get half a heart here. I think it's worth it to fight the boss here. This boss should not be more difficult. Okay, it's uh, the Wretched. Yes, the boss should not be more difficult than um, one and a half hearts. The exception would be like the Fallen or something, of course. So I ended up not taking damage against the, the Wretched, but there's always the chance that we will take damage against his spiders, which are now dead. Reroll the speed upgrade. Pick up a tears upgrade. Was it worth it? Sort of? I don't know. We're already on the depths part one. Things going reasonably quickly here. As you might expect, given that we have two of the most overpowered items in the game, a consistent Meat Boy as well as Mom's Knife. But hey, we earned Mom's Knife anyway. We didn't earn Meat Boy. 
But we earned Mom's knife. If nothing else, this run was kind of botched from the start because of that like familiar restriction, which I really did not expect. There was, if you had asked me beforehand what I thought the odds were of the familiar run just like being barred from working, uh, I would have said zero because cheat engine lets you do some pretty crazy stuff. Let's check out. Oh, I didn't want to get that. I could, sometimes I get confused because there's so many familiars that I can't see what the fuck is going on and where I'm going. Um, but that is okay. I want to get five more cents, go back and buy the coin purse though. Because four pills could come very much in handy. We certainly would love more HP upgrades. Because I am suffering a little bit from a lack of health. Which, you know, I, I realize 10 years of med school has finally paid off. What's this guy got? Ah, oh, he's not healthy. Pretty simple. You should really take him to a real doctor who did not earn his degree from the University of Phoenix Online. You know, no offense if we went to the University of Phoenix Online, but I hear their med school program is pretty bad considering all their classes are taken by correspondence. So, there we go. More health. Tons of red hearts dropping now. We get Book of Sin, which we will use and abuse. Just like I treat my ladies, right fellas? Yeah! Chauvinism! Uh, magnet. I guess we'll take that. Because we can't fly, so, you know, some of this stuff will come in handy, I guess. Haven't encountered any double floors, which is kind of disappointing. Why not use the fool card? That saved us a lot of walking. Um, yeah, haven't encountered any double floors, which is kind of disappointing. I like the double floors, especially if you've got, like, a really overpowered setup. You can clear through those in, like, five minutes each. And this is shaping up to be another quick run, although, again, I have no fucking idea when this run will end. Many people have been telling me that it's not my save file, that the game itself is just glitched on Steam for whatever reason. People have been saying, like, yeah, uh, I got Platinum God like four months ago, but in order to get, or sorry, I got uh, Red Hand, or, oh, no, no, no! I got Left Hand four months ago, but in order to get Platinum God earlier this week, I had to get Left Hand again, so I don't know what's going on with that stuff. I don't know if it's my game, the save file, Steam itself, portable slot machine is garbage. Gave us a cent though, cool. We'll reroll that as soon as we can. Um, but yeah, so I don't know if we're gonna be fighting the chest or, you know, Blue Baby, Isaac. I, I, the cathedral is accessible to us now. I know that much for a fact. Just keep this up. Oh, come on, that didn't hurt. What a pussy. I did find the secret room though. We'll reroll that and get the bean. That's still pretty much garbage. But hey, what's in our second secret room here? We find a red chest, which contains two pills. Okay. I'm gonna guess this pill's g bad. Okay, 50-50. This pill's ba amazing. Hey, sort of. Amazing might be a stretch, but it wasn't terrible. We're fighting Gish. Give me little Gish. I, this is one of the... Oh, I already have it. <laughs> is this... Oh, yeah, okay. We have had little Gish for the whole time. Sometimes I forget. Okay, he's gonna be dead in one more spell of combat for sure. There he goes. We'll get uh, meat as a result of that, which is awesome. Tears and HP upgrade. Now people are telling me this has become a common trope in this Let's Play. Meat itself. People have been telling me meat's a damage upgrade. People have been telling me Northern Lion, those people are mistaken. Meat is not a damage upgrade. I checked the wiki. Then other people have been telling me, you know, the wiki's not always right. So there's some things the wiki is wrong about. Man! I'm a, it's a confusing time to be Northern Lion. Northern Lion, check the wiki. Northern Lion, the wiki's not always right. Leave a comment if you're a strong, independent Let's Player who doesn't need no wiki. We're just gonna keep moving on here. Uh, there's our arcade, we have no interest in that. Shop, maybe, if we come across it. In the meantime, though, let's just continue abusing the most powerful item in the game. To suck all the fun out of Isaac. I mean that facetiously, by the way. I think the Binding of Isaac is at its most fun. When you're using mom's knife, you gotta get real down and dirty with these guys. Which I enjoy. Get real down and dirty with these guys. Which I enjoy. The Northern Lion story. How gay S&M clubs turned my life around. I don't mean anything negative by that, by the way. If you're into gay s and I mean, just calling a gay S&M is probably offensive. If you're into s and whether with a member of your own sex or the opposite sex, it's cool, man. Get down. It's not my kind of thing, quite frankly, my nipples are far too sensitive to have cl clamps be attached to them at any given time. I find it uncomfortable, and to be quite honest, if I was aroused, it would probably make me likely to lose my erection. So, I'm not really into the S&M thing. 
consensual sex in the missionary position only for the purpose of procreation. Uh, I think that's the way, you know, I, I, what can I say? I fuck like a Romney. So we're going to get uh, this bomb here and move on. And I'm going to get off this S&M tangent because it's making me a little uncomfortable. But yeah, it's all, it's up to you, man. Do whatever your, your heart feels is right. So I'm going to check out this item room. Item room is scapular. Item room is lemon mishap. Shop is blast hard cheese. Greed. God damn it. Well, greed is kind of a blast hard cheese. That was probably the worst damage I've ever taken. Well, on the bright side, we do get the steam sale, which is totally worthless considering this is our last shop anyway. We get Mom's Pearl, though, and Mom's Pearl gives us more Spirit Heart Drops, which could come in handy. Now, I have, like, this headphone cord wrapped around my neck, and it's starting to tighten up a little bit, and all I can think of is, like, I'm gonna die here, and people are not gonna think I accidentally choked myself, they're gonna think I choked myself out while jerking off, even though I'm wearing pants right now. I don't know, man. You know, that's gotta have happened to somebody at some point in their life. They were like... They just set up the, the situation the wrong way. They didn't actually want to jerk off. Maybe they just wanted to feel what it was like. And all of a sudden, they're dead. And now everyone thinks, you know, David Carradine loves autoerotic asphyxiation. Maybe he does. I don't know. Again, if you're into that sort of thing, just have a, have a partner with you. You dankus. You don't want to die choking yourself out. So we're fighting red version of mom here. Very weird sexual tangents this morning. What can I say? No, seriously, what can I say to get out of this? Uh, Mom is going to die very quickly here. We're using our own weapon against her, which made that very easy. Uh, we will blow up this tinted rock to hopefully get some spirit hearts. Well, a single key, that's roughly the same thing. We'll take the Polaroid, which we kind of have to, and we'll take the HP upgrade. Again, I'm taking the Polaroid because I just don't know if we can continue uh, past the cathedral, shall I say. Now, if you're into vaginal silkworms, man, that's your thing. Just make sure you're wearing some kind of dick protector. Because those things have sharp teeth, and I hear that they're like lampreys, you know? They, they don't want to let go once they latch on. Alright, Meat Boy. You know who hasn't been doing a very good job for me lately? Meat Boy. You're fucking fired. It's like White Trash the Apprentice. You're fucking fired. Go to the store and get me a case of Pilsner. Um, a thank you, me boy, for doing something that I could have done myself. About fucking time. Uh, we're just gonna destroy these. Easy enough. Similarly, we're just gonna destroy these is what I say to all of my several beautiful lady friends before I touch them on the breasts. This has been uh, episode one of Dirty Talking with Northern Lion. Proof that just because you may have a voice that sounds sensual in the right tone and diction uh, does not mean that you are capable of turning on a member of the opposite sex or the same sex. If you're into same sex dirty talk, man, I got no problem with that. Just make sure you use a dictionary. You don't want to use the same words over and over. They'll lose their power. We have Judgment, uh, who we will give money, of course. Did he just... Did Judgment just turn in... From a bomb into a beggar? From a bomb to a beggar. By the way, sounds like a great, like, Protest the Hero album or something. Uh, Compass! We'll keep- we'll take that. No need to reroll that, certainly. We are on our way to the boss room anyway, so there was no need, necessarily, for me to pick up the compass right there. Uh, but you know, it'll come in handy on future floors for sure. One of the most game-changing items, I feel, especially as you get later and later on, because I'm taking a staggering amount of stupid damage here. Luckily, Chad is dropping red hearts, like, constantly. Yes, we are gonna get another cube of meat. This will provide us with some good protection, hopefully. Um, I guess death is just gonna die here. And we're just gonna try not to die, although the, the horse is getting dangerously close. You know the slogan for Cheetos is, like, dangerously cheesy, right? Do you think there's anybody out there that's actually had, like, a family member die due to dangerous consumption levels of cheese? I don't mean like heart disease, I mean like directly cheese ca- Oh, fourth level Meat Boy, right. Perfect. Um, I don't mean like they, they, over 30 years they were obese and they ended up having a heart attack or something. I mean like they just ate too much cheese, they got cheese poisoning or something. And every time they see that commercial they're like, Not funny, Chester! Truth be told, dangerous levels of cheese consumption is one gram per kilo. Actually, that wouldn't work. 
Dangerous cheese consumption was one gram of cheese per kilo of body mass. We would all be dead. Or I would be dead for sure. I've definitely ate more than 100 grams of cheese in a single sitting. How can he not, man? Cheese is great. If you're into same-sex cheese, I got no problem with that. Just make sure you have some crackers or something. You don't want to get that, uh, you don't want it to be too rich or something. I don't even know what I'm fucking talking about anymore. That goes for everybody watching this, I assume. Give me something. Health, give me health. I need your health. Oh, give us your bones. Um, okay, we're good. We're fighting mom's heart next. What is this pill? That's not good. Arcade. Give us all of the spirit hearts in existence, please. I don't want your fucking trinkets. I don't want your money. I just want hearts and spirit hearts. Now, we should still be able to beat mom's heart either way. But the question is how much further can we take it from there? Full health pill. Luck up. What the hell? Have we been- we've had that orange pill before because it identified itself immediately, but... I don't think it was luck up when we had it. I got hit by the fly?! You gotta be kidding me. That did one heart of damage. That might be the game breaker. No, no, no. This might be the- Oh, okay. Really? No hearts? That's like your most common drop most of the time. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Alright, here we go. We got some hearts. We're gonna blow up the blood bank. That's gonna give us no hearts. Where's Bloody Penny when you need it? There we go. So that makes up for getting hit by the fly. You guys seen The Fly with Jeff Goldblum? People always, it's always like lampooned in popular media. Because it's a pretty silly premise, I guess. A man invents a teleportation device and it turns him into a fly. Or a human style fly. That movie's actually dope as hell. Don't let popular media color your opinion of The Fly before you see it. I think it's directed by David Cronenberg. Movie's pretty fucking cool. Alright, we're good on health now. Thank you uh, to this man for his support. I don't even want that money, so this bomb is gonna be in your face. In your face! Uh, we'll just take the bomb and the extra money, I guess, and go fight Mom's Heart. I think this is pretty much a guaranteed success. Long story short from this episode, Northern Lion is a fan of the movie The Fly. Northern Lion supports same-sex dirty talk, s &M. Really same-sex. Any, anything you could do with uh, both sexes, do it with same-sex. Nation's government cares more about the bedrooms than they do about the boardrooms. Am I right, guys? Am I right? I don't know. I don't even live in the same country as most of you. Many of you, but certainly not most of you. So this is a very easy fight here. Level 4 Meat Boy is doing something, I assume. I can't really see what it is. Hopefully he's not jerking himself off. Uh, one more knife will do it. We're going up to the cathedral. And we still have this D6, which I would love to get rid of. Doesn't our Isaac look like Bruce Springsteen or something right now? Born in mom's womb. Believe it or not, despite that awful Bruce Springsteen impression, when I was in Korea, where karaoke is God, known as Noribong over there, um, Springsteen was my go-to. In fact, he was my only go-to, because every I suck at all other singing, basically. Born Get a little born to run, a little dancing in the dark, everyone loves it, man. That... And occasionally, Duran Duran's Hungry Like the Wolf, or Call Me by Blondie. Anything that stays in a low enough register that this beautiful chocolatey voice doesn't have to strain itself. Uh, Book of Revelations, fucking finally. So apparently this challenge run is actually just Northern Lion's favorite items. Well, that was terrible dodging. Kind of fitting that, you know, having Gish and fighting Gish, that Gish is actually going to take away our last spirit hearts. Well, never mind. <laughs> Should get to the boss room. Chain reaction, yeah! Should get to the boss room reasonably quickly here. Can we beat Isaac? I don't know, man. It's been so long since I fought him because we've had the weird save file issues. It'll be interesting, that is for sure. Thank you, Meat Boy. Do it up. Lovers. The sun. Full health. The tower. Garbage. So we're definitely going to roll with the sun card here. Again, I have no idea if after this we will have uh, the chest. If we do, the sun card certainly will prove to be a lifesaver. Even if it isn't useful on this Isaac fight, which I expect it will be useful on this Isaac fight, but even if it isn't, of course, it's going to come very much in handy uh, the later and later we go. Still alive here somehow against... Oh, Gertie Jr. finally hit us. So, let's go to town here. Um, little Chad has dropped so many hearts. He's like the unsung hero of this run for sure. 
And we're just going to rotate around. Thank you, level 4 Meat Boy. Now, sadly, we do not have... Oh, we have the wafer, don't we? Oh, no, that was last run. So we are going to end up having to use the sun card next time I get hit. It'll at least do some damage to Isaac. Let's get close. Pop the sun card. We still have invincibility, so just go to town. We took him down to basically his third phase. This is fine by me. Now, the problem is we don't have, like, any way to dodge these shots. So we're just taking it on the chin. I'm just going to get up real close, actually. Kill him! Kill oh my god, why are there so many angel fetuses? We can still take two more hits. We can still take one more hit. Get that heart, get that heart. Thank god. Okay, we're going to live. Is there a chest? There's not a chest. Is that the end? This is the chest. Okay, well, at least my save file's not broken. We got dead bird. We got charm of the vampire. This could end up crawling us out of this pit. Uh, X-ray vision. These are all garbage items. <laughs> Kamikaze, are you kidding me? At least I can go out on my own terms. Um, we're, we're almost certainly fucked. But if we get through one room, we can make it. Because, uh, we're gonna have Book of Revelations, possibly Charm of the Vampire. No! I thought we could do it. Uh, but also we had Little Chad. But anyway, that was a weird and interesting run. Uh, all familiars does not work. But as always, continue sending me your suggestions for challenge runs, and I will take note of them, give credit where credit is due. But as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.